What is up my new event friends? Today I'm going to show you how to jump around different buffers and get exactly to where you need to edit or manipulate your files so you can be more efficient in your movements in NeoVim. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and consider subscribing if you like NeoVim content or you want to level up your command line experience. The first trick I'm going to show you is page up and page down which should be pretty familiar if you've seen some of my other videos. So to do that we do control D to go down and control U to go up. Next up, we can search using the forward slash and then type whatever characters we need to to jump to the right location. To do that, we just hit forward slash and let's say we wanted to jump down to dice front. So you can see I'm getting some autocomplete in the bottom left and also getting some highlighting for my incremental search. If I hit enter, then I can hit in, it'll go to the next location. And if I go capital in, then it'll go back to the previous location. Forward slash will search down from wherever your cursor is and question mark will search up from wherever your cursor is. Another way is to do forward slash and dice front, just like we were doing. And you can do control G to go to the next one and control T to go to the previous one. The next method I wanna show you is your jump list. So you can actually look at what your values are by doing colon jumps and it'll bring up a menu that looks like this and show you all the different locations that you've jumped to within your file. If you have telescope installed, then you can use telescope and jump list, and you'll see a nice little fuzzy search menu to see exactly where you've jumped previously. And if you wanna jump exactly to like a use effect or something like that, where you've jumped. If you actually wanna go through the different lists of jumps, then you can do control O to go backwards to your previous jumps, and then control I to go forward all the way to the end of wherever your latest jump is. Next up, if you have Telescope installed, which I have no idea why you wouldn't have it installed at this point, it's one of the best plugins ever. The command we can use is Telescope and LSP document symbols. If we run this, you'll see all the different document symbols that your LSP has identified. Make sure that your LSP is installed and configured so that this actually works, but you can fuzzy search through this. If I wanted to search down to align items, then I could jump to one of these locations and quickly navigate to it. Another way I wanna show you is using marks, which are an oldie but a goodie and something that you can use pretty quickly and not have to do a lot of overhead. You don't actually need a plugin to use marks, so I'll show you how to jump across buffers so you don't have to be limited to just searching within your buffer. To set a mark, use M and capital A or whatever letter you want. Make sure it's a capital letter, otherwise you won't be able to jump between buffers and it'll only work within the current buffer that you're using. Now, if we go down a little bit and we use single quote and capital A, it'll jump us back to our location so that we can edit or manipulate wherever we need to. If you wanna take a look at what your current marks are, then you can use, again, telescope and marks, and it'll show you a list of all the different marks that you've set. If you wanna take a look at what your marks are without telescope, you can run the marks command and it'll show you in this list like we did with the jump list. If you don't care about jumping between buffers, then you can use lowercase letters. So if I wanted to set another mark and use MB, then I can go down here and do single quote and B, and it'll jump me back within this buffer. Our next example shows a really awesome plugin that I found called leap.invim. To install it with LazyVim, simply do this config right here, where you're installing it and then requiring leap and just setting the default mappings. Let's jump back over to our code and see how this works. The key maps you need to remember are S to search down and capital S to search up. If I hit S and then I can type two characters, then I will search or jump to that character. So let's say I wanna to jump to the first Boolean on four lines down. So if I hit B, O, then it'll jump me to that first character there. You can see that it actually doesn't know whether to jump me to the first one or the second one. So I can add a third character by saying B and it'll jump me right there. Now, if I wanted to go back up to, let's say dice front, I can do capital S and capital F R, and then it'll jump to S the first one, and I'll be right there where I need to go. The last plugin I'm going to show you today is the symbols outline.invim. And this will show you a preview of the different symbols that are in your buffer. To install it with LazyVim, make sure you have the setup and the config function. Back over in our code, if you run the command symbols and outline, then it'll show you this little preview on the right hand side here. And you can hit O to jump to the different functions or tags that are in the buffer. And you can collapse everything with capital W and then incrementally open them with L. From there, you can collapse individual ones. If you wanted to collapse, say this one, 
you open it and you hit H to go back and close it that way. If you hit enter, then it'll take you into the buffer and right to that location and you can start editing however you need to. This is a really nice way to have a view into all the symbols that are going on similar to the LSP document symbols, but gives you a few more shortcuts and ways to manipulate and jump to different locations. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate you watching to the end. I should have more NeoVim videos coming out very soon, so look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.